Ciao, this is Daniele Luciano Moscow of Parola de More Ministries. Today I want to talk on the subject of fishing for people. Fishing for people, taken from the book of Matthew chapter 4 verses 18 to 23. I have a question for you. Do you enjoy fishing and have you ever caught a great fish? You know, fishing is a great sport. I love fishing. And if you have ever been fishing and have caught a fish, you know that's the great feeling of excitement when you catch a fish. One of the things that makes fishing such a great sport and pastime is that it doesn't matter if you're young or old, male or female, black or white. You can still be good at fishing. What takes it? to be good at catching fish. First of all, you need to be properly equipped. You can't just get a piece of string, put a hook on it and tie it on the end of a stick and expect to catch many fish, can you? No, if you're serious about fishing, you'll make sure you have all the right equipment. You want a nice rod and reel and floats etc etc the next thing you need to know is that you have to go where the fish are to catch fish finally if you want to be good at fishing you must have patience you must be very patient sometimes the fish just aren't biting so you have to wait patiently one day Jesus Christ of Nazareth was walking along the seashore when he saw two brothers named Peter and Andrew Jesus knew they made their living by fishing. So he called out to them, Follow me and I will show you how to fish for people. Do you know what they did? They laid down their fishing nets and followed the master, Jesus of Nazareth. Now the Lord Jesus Christ wants you and me to fish for people too, especially if you're a Christian. That means that Jesus wants us to tell others about what he has done for us and what he wants to do for them. Fishing for people is a lot like fishing for fish. First, we need to be properly equipped. We need to know what the Holy Bible teaches and learn how to share it with others. Next, we need to go to where the people are and tell them about Jesus Christ. Finally, we must be very patient. Now, if we do all these things, we can really become fishers of people like the Lord Jesus Christ wants us to be. If you think there is a great feeling of excitement in catching a fish, just imagine how exciting it must to be to bring someone who needs salvation, healing or deliverance through and in Jesus Christ's loving and faithful name. The angels of God in heaven rejoice with joy and gladness over one lost repentant sinner who repents of their sins and becomes a born-again Christian by confessing with their mouth and believing in their heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, help us become fishers of lost people, especially in these last days before your second coming. Help us, Lord, by your precious Holy Spirit to tell others about your glorious gospel message of salvation, love, forgiveness, grace and mercy in your name and what you have done for us and what you want us to do for others. This I pray and ask in Jesus Christ's loving and faithful name I have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. If you have been blessed by this short teaching message, Please share it amongst your family and friends. Amen. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. God bless you. Ciao for now.